everyone so uh this setup is not ideal i put you like on my windowsill 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 to get the good lighting and i'm kind of shrunk down because i don't have a chair that's high enough to hold me so i'm level and it's on my phone it's all just a mess but i had a story that i wanted to share that happened to me um on the saturday after christmas like that week that saturday and holy shit it was an experience that I'll probably never have, that I fucking hope I will never have again. And it was on NJ Transit, going to New York City with my cousins. I know that a lot of YouTubers tend to exaggerate or they tend to say, you know, I was robbed and they weren't or my Uber took me somewhere that they shouldn't have, but it's all, ex everything's exaggerated and all that. I will put the clips of things that I got of what happened either while I'm talking or at the end of the video, just so that there's like some proof of like, yes, this happened. Cause I did record some of it for my Snapchat story. And also just in case, you know, police decided to come and be like, what the fuck's going on? So there's seven of us and we get on the train and we find seats. So what it is, is I'll, I'll put a little picture. So I'm going to explain this better than I would in the video. So there's me and there's the one cousin that's a year younger than me. Across from us, well, in front of us, is the cousin that's probably in eighth grade. She's in middle school or something like that. And then a cousin that's also a year younger than me. Behind us is a cousin that's two years younger than me. And then she's sitting next to a stranger by herself. Across the aisle is these two, maybe a teenage couple. It's a boy and a girl. And then um, in front of them is my cousin that's my age. And then her brother, who is a freshman in high school, and then in front of them is this couple, a husband and a wife. I'm going to guess they're probably in their like 40s or 50s or something. So, yeah. So, the train is very crowded. And by the time we get to the third station, there's a guy that comes on the train. And he has nowhere to sit. It's too crowded, so he stands. He puts his jacket and stuff like above us, like on the rack. And you know instinctively when someone comes on a train or comes into a classroom you look for whatever reason you just look to see who it is. So I just like looked up, glanced at him, glanced back at my phone or whatever and he just looks at me and goes hi, hi, hello, hi and I was like hi and he was like what's your name and I was like no, no, like I'm not, I don't want to engage, I'm not going to do this. I was like no and he was like what, what, I'm not going to do anything weird, what, I'm not going to stalk you and I was like Okay, he's like, what, you don't want to tell me your name? And I was like, no. Hmm. He's like, wow, okay, weird. I was like, what the fuck? So, he grabs his book, and I thought it was a book. And he starts reading out loud. He starts reading out loud, and I'm like, okay, maybe he'll get off soon. There, whose right hand was withered, and the scribes and the Pharisees watched him to see whether he would heal on the Sabbath, so that they might find a reason to accuse him. But he knew their thoughts and he said to them. He starts reading out loud and then you hear, you know, blah, 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 Jesus, blah, 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 blah. And then Nazareth and blah, 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 blah. And I was like, oh, fuck, he is reading the fucking Bible. So I'm not religious in case you didn't know. And we were just sitting there and we're like, oh, no. And everyone around us was like, oh, no, 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 no. The boy who was sitting across the aisle from like next to us from me. He goes, hey, bro, like, you just got to read in your head. And he goes, oh, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll read in my head. So then blah, 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 blah. And all of us were like, what the fuck? And the guy was like, bro, please, like, can you just read in your head? That's really disrespectful. And he goes, don't call me your bro. Don't touch me. Like, I guess the guy, like, extended his hand. He didn't touch him, but he was like, don't touch me. Like, what are you doing? I'm not your bro. I can't read in my head. I can't read in my head. And all of us were like, oh. Okay, so then he kept reading out loud and all of us were just like, oh my fucking God. And then every so often he'd turn to someone, whether it be me or anyone else around him and go, are you learning something? Did you learn something so far? Are you learning something? And all of us are just like, no, we're not, no. And then like, he'll start, like he'll put the book back and he'd be like, oh yeah, ugh. I just read six chapters. Yeah, ugh, six chapters. Yeah, I just, just got six chapters done. And all of us are like, what the fuck? And the train is going very slow because it's so crowded that like when it gets to a stop, it stops for a longer amount of time because there's so many people getting off and so many more people getting on because 
it's the weekend after Christmas in New York. Obviously, there's going to be more people. So then at some point, he starts kind of walking up and down and like switching the spots where he's reading, but he's staying in the same cart. So he'll just walk like three feet behind us or three feet in front of me. And he walked th uh, like three feet in front of us and he starts reading out loud and the guy's just like, please can you read in your head? He's like, oh no, I can't read in my head. I can't read in my head. I'm not trying to read the Read in your head. Uh, I can't read it. I can't read in my head. Don't read out loud. It's disrespectful. Um, I don't know, man. I do know. What do you think? Unfortunately. <laughs> No way. The guy that was sitting like next to the aisle, he starts playing music or some kind of sound. He's like, yo, bro, can you turn your phone off? That's really obnoxious and really loud. Like some people are trying to do stuff here. That's really obnoxious. And the guy was like, if you stop reading out loud, I'll turn the music off. Stop, like stop. He goes, no, that's really rude. That's really obnoxious, bro. What are you doing? So the guy ends up turning the music off. He's like, oh, thank you for turning that off. That was getting really obnoxious playing your music out loud like that. And all of us are like, we're not going to catch a fucking break with this guy. So around us, you hear people saying like, should we push the button? Should we, how do we contact a conductor? Because I think at this point it's so crowded, a conductor isn't going to come and like punch hole the tickets. Like we're thinking that this conductor is not gonna come by. It's so crowded. Why would he come and hole punch tickets? So we don't know how to get a conductor. We're at the point, at this point, we're not thinking about stopping the train because he hasn't done anything. And we're just trying to figure out like how to get this guy to stop talking. So we realize that while, if we are talking, it makes him talk quieter, we guess, cause he can't focus. So all of us just start talking. Like I'm talking to my cousin, my cousin's talking to, we're just trying to keep on talking somehow so that he like quiets down. But for whatever reason, he was just gunning for, he's like, you're talking too loud. Why are you talking so loud? Huh? Why are you talking so loud? Why are you talking so loud? And the lady that was sitting across my cousin and her brother was like, hey, like her talking loud isn't the problem. You're talking loud is the problem. And immediately like there were people who were just sitting, just sitting there. They're just sitting. He's going, what are you doing? Why are you being so obnoxious? What are you looking at? Huh? What are you looking at? Like not even looking at him, just whatever. And he ended up going three like feet behind me reading his bible and then he turns to the girl and she's like oh he's like are you learning something do you like the bible and she's like i like the normal bible and he's like oh what's the normal bible is it this one he starts listing all these bibles i'm not religious i don't even know what that means but that's what they were doing so he comes back and he goes and stands um next to my cousin and her brother who is a freshman in high school and he turns and goes hey little boy or like hey guy or whatever the fuck like he's like hey little boy what's your name Oh, he goes, hey, little boy, are you learning something? And my cousin's like, no. He goes, oh, what's your name? And I was like, no, 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 get away from him. Like both my cousin, like his sister and me were like, get, get away from him. Like get the fuck away from him. No, no, no. This is creepy. Get away from him. So he walked away back those three feet and then he came back and I'm looking at my cousin. I'm just staring at her. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Like, I'm just kind of mouthing to her. And because I'm talking to her across the aisle, I'm sitting up straight like I'm not slouched back in my seat because I want to see her and I'm just looking at her and he's like what the fuck are you staring at what the fuck are you staring at stop staring at me and my cousin is just like he's she's not staring at you she's looking at me she's talking to me shut the fuck up leave her alone and the woman who's sitting in front of her is going that's my daughter stop talking to her like that and I'm like bless up you fucking lady I love you so much for trying to come to my defense and the husband stood up and he was like, why are you standing up? Huh? Why are you standing up? Sit down. Why are you standing up? And the guy's like, I'm just stretching. I'm just stretching. Can you just stop, stop this? No one is trying to do anything to you. No one's trying to, no one's doing anything. We're not bothering you. Can you please just stop like initiating things? Stop trying to talk to us when no one's talking to you. He's like, no one's talking, like, shut the fuck up, like, sit down, you're being so obnoxious, why are you doing this, blah, 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 blah. Like that? But you obviously can't, and you don't. For your whole life. And now you're spreading that contaminant all over the place, and you need to sit down. Do you understand? Are you hearing me? Yo, woman, white, blonde, blonde girl. What's wrong? Where are you going? Where are you going right now? What are you doing? Nothing, buddy. I'm just, I'm just... The, the woman's crazy. I'm off the train. But you're very disrespectful. 
No one's disrespectful. You need to sit down. Sit down. Sit down. If I do something crazy to you. God. Just ask me nicely. Stop. Buffoons, man. You all right? What are you doing? What are you doing? What do you want? No one's looking at anyone. You don't talk to me like that. No one talked to you. I'm not being disrespectful to you. I'm not being disrespectful to you. I'm just asking you. You're trying to hurt you're saying things. You do that. And it's just a constant him trying to get a reaction out of us when no one is doing anything. Like, yes, he knows we're all getting irritated, but there was a point where none of us said anything. And he just turns to people and he goes, what are you looking at? Huh? Are you enjoying this? Are you having fun? Are you learning something? We thought he was going to leave. It looked like he grabbed his stuff and he was leaving and all of us start clapping. We're like, yeah, he's leaving. And then he comes back and he looks at me and he goes, huh, did you miss me? Did you miss me? I bet you missed me. And I was just like, oh my fucking God. So he stood there and he kept saying stuff. I don't even remember what. And then he looks at me and I was wearing red lipstick at the time. And he goes, oh, that lipstick, I could just smack you in the face right now. And everyone was like, oh, that's a threat. That's a whole threat. And then he said something along the lines of like, I could like kill someone or I could kill something or blah, blah, blah. Something with killing something on a train full of people. So my cousin that's sitting next to me immediately goes, no, 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 no. Someone pushed the button. Like the emergency stop the car button. And he's like, no, 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 no. We don't have to do that. We don't have to do that. And my cousin goes, he's threatening us. Push the button, push the button. He, she's yelling across the thing. Cause we're like closer to the back, but we can see the button. So she's like, push the button, push the button. And someone does, someone pushes the button and he goes, all right, like I gotta go, I gotta, I'm gonna leave, whatever. So he leaves and as he's leaving, I guess the kid's like in the aisle and he's like, why are you trying tripping me, bro? Like blah, 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 blah. I'll see you later. Excuse me. Yo, what the hell are you doing? Don't trip people, kid. Get your so he leaves, our train stops, he leaves. We don't, the train has stopped for about five or six minutes. And then it starts going again. Now this guy is gone. We don't know whether a conductor got him. We don't know whether someone else called for someone and they stopped him. We don't know whether he just got off at that station because no one saw him on the platform. So we don't think he got off. So maybe he went onto another cart. We don't know what happened to him, but we had maybe like 30 or 40 minutes left of the train ride. So a good hour of that train ride was this guy just yelling and attacking mainly me and my cousins because who the fuck knows why like who knows and yeah i don't care i don't want this to come as like an attack on religion he no one wanted cares if he wanted to read the bible it was not an attack on him reading the bible it was an attack on him reading out loud you the way that he was reading it was like he wanted the attention and we tried not to give it to him because we it's like a little kid if you don't give him attention they'll stop but the problem was every time even when we wouldn't give him any attention he would just keep trying to talk to us and try and initiate something even when we would ignore him then he'd be like oh what you don't want to talk to me like what the fuck I'm sorry if they're vertical but um, that's just, it was one of those things where I was trying to catch moments where he was being like crazy. So then I just like was not trying. And after the fact, like probably the next day, I realized that I probably should have just like hit record on my phone and just let it go. But yeah, no police came in, no nothing. Like, yeah, it was just a time. Every other time I've gone on NJ Transit, never had a problem. There was nothing ever out of the ordinary to sit with people and that's it. That's the first I've gone to on subways in Philly, nothing pales to comparison. I've traveled on planes to Europe and everything. Nothing compares to comparison to that experience on that transit ride. And I never want to go through that ever again. So, okay, now I'm going to end the video. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you in some other kind of video. Yeah, bye.